Oh my god, the best thing in the world just happened, guys. What's going on, you two this? EXO coming at you here in a nasty, disgusting garage, but that doesn't matter because I feel amazing on the inside. 818s is gonna be a reality, guys. H huge new rebuild. I just got confirmation on Facebook Messenger. Eight of them on eight Crescendo 5500s. I, I, oh my god, I am so excited. We still have Frankenstein sitting in here because we need to do more repairs. Ah, right there and right there. You guys know the drill, the freaking wheel hubs freaking falling off. I almost died the other day, but that's besides the point. I was just literally jumping up up and down uh, when I found out that I could finally get these because two deals fell through. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up a cup from a couple different people, one because of shipping and another because he really wanted to keep them for himself, and I don't blame him. I would want to keep them too, but I think I need to also break it to you that I'm probably not going to be keeping this truck for the rebuild. I'm gonna, you know, get the wheel hubs or the whatever that part is called installed, and then you know, have fun with it. Do some basin, go to some shows, and do what we can until we go bigger. I've had this thing for like almost six years, so a uh, 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 welcome change is definitely in store. Look at this, guys. Look at it. The Def Bounce video for the Machete Sobifers checked out the uh, M10s, 12s, and 15s. Did a quick little review and free air excursion if you want to go check that out. It's pretty damn cool. It's like 12 minutes long. I, I don't know why this freaking pillow is right here. Might as well take a little nap with my cat because I got nothing else better to do. Realistically, this is going to be coming to fruition within the next probably one year. I don't want to really, I don't want to like overshoot it, but I definitely don't want to say something and then be wrong in the end. We already have all the amplifiers because Little Blue's on 10,000 watts already. We'll stick in the extra 10K to whatever vehicle we choose. Maybe one of those weird cargo looking transit vehicles with the high ceilings. Maybe a van. Or maybe, no, no, not a van, because alternators are really hard to install in vans. So, it's still all up in the air, guys, but I'm gonna be changing, going bigger, getting louder, having more fun like we do. I'm just a bass head at heart, and without changing it up here and there, I just, I feel like latent and just like idle. Kick it into high gear and do the biggest build I've ever done. But to be able to do that, we gotta do a couple funny things. I can't just have the kids ship the woofer to me because it requires a special little crate. And right now, my home theater system, my television, is being used with those sound stream crates. The thing is, it has no top. Literally, the whole box has no top. So we need to make a new top for this wooden crate. That way, the subwoofer is nice and safe and doesn't shift during shipping. That's the huge thing that I've been always asking the person who sells these huge massive subwoofers, hey, have you ever shipped one like this before? Have you ever shipped a big subwoofer before? It's a crucial question and I always wanna make sure that they know how to pack them. But I got a special little surprise for him inside the box. No other American has this special little gift. So I'll leave it up to him if he wants to show you guys that. I don't wanna ruin the surprise for him. But we need to take some wood and fasten this up right here so we'll be able to ship it to him and I'll be getting that out uh, tomorrow or maybe even later today. Cutting it right down with this, I have my little makeshift bag on the end of it, zip tied so we don't throw all the wood chips out into my already dirty garage. So the box is officially 21 in just a little bit, so I'm gonna go just a little bit over 21. And I think it's a square, so yeah, I'm gonna go 21 and an eight. Got the pieces all cut, so let's go ahead and try and see see if she fits. This is gonna be literally the make or break factor with shipping a hundred pounds, well it's 120 pounds altogether, but the subwoofer is only like, I don't know, 96 or 98, I can't remember. It's an even number. And just like that, perfect. We've got a nice flush box. I can push this in a little, probably a little bit more, just like that. And I'm not really worried about this seam. I'm gonna be putting cardboard on it and tape. So just as long as it has a nice hard outer shell, we're all good. So I just need to pre-drill a couple holes right here and uh, reef it down with some screws. Then she'll be mail worthy. We'll ship it out to the kid. I am so excited. What do you guys think? Is this a thumbs up worthy video right here? 818's EXO Contralto doing it in style for definitely 2018. 
or yeah, 2018, maybe even the beginning of 2019. Don't hold me to that either. Here comes the 818s. Until the next one, this is EXO signing out.